Hello guys, good morning, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be reacting to Dani Katibolt. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm saying that right, but if you haven't yet heard of her then you're probably not on TikTok so frequently. She's basically one of the most cringy stand-up comedians on the platform and today we're going to be uh, viewing some of her content. She doesn't have much left. In fact, um, she went viral but yet she only has 8,700 followers on TikTok. I'm not even sure whether this is her official account or not because I'm pretty sure she kind of blocked her own account because of all the bullying. Orange Peanut made a really effective video about this and it was quite hilarious. And I've seen her a few times on TikTok. I don't like her sketches at all. Um, apparently this started off with the uh, channel comedy here now on YouTube who gave her a, a stage to perform but yeah let's uh, view her videos so this is probably one of her most popular ones I'm actually just loud <laughs> okay. a lot of people think I'm confident but I'm actually just loud <laughs> yeah when it comes to believing in myself I'm an atheist <laughs> <laughs> okay, so saying that gave me secondhand embarrassment would be an understatement. That was fucking awful. I mean, the joke isn't that bad. I mean, when it comes to believing in myself, I am an atheist. That that is a good punchline, but she delivered it uh delivered it so poorly. And in fact, there are some comments over here saying, "Listen to the haters." Some people must be really drunk to laugh at this. I'm sure those laughs are just sound clips. Um, she's uh, really terrible with the way she delivers her jokes. Even though the, the last joke she made in this video I actually quite enjoyed. I just don't like her demeanor when she jokes. She doesn't know how to present them well without the cringe. Some people have been saying that she's the best stand-up comedian in Ohio. Which is pretty hilarious as well. I'm like dating someone who likes you, classic man. <laughs> classic man. A woman me. would never date someone who likes her. <laughs> I'm like. Okay, not sure why she even uploaded this. Um, the comments are saying that funny voice does not mean funny or loud does not mean funny, and for the most part, it's it's true. Um, I don't even know what she's trying to say with this. Um, whether it's a feminist take, whether it's even a joke, whether she's trying to be ironic in some way she for real put comedian and comedians of tiktok <laughs> well she certainly isn't um wait they let her live oh fuck yeah i mean considering all the bullying i don't see how she has so many views anyway 2.3 million views and 161k likes okay now this is sit down comedy someone just uh used the quirky emoji yeah, okay, next. Okay, I'm a bit flustered. I just tried to park outside, and my park job was so bad, a cop breathalyzed me. <laughs> Why is she so excited about making I such know, a terrible joke? I was joke. already late. I was like, 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 they were like, she's wasted. <laughs> 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 is that so insulting? And I'm a good driver. I've only ever crashed my car one time. <laughs> it was on my driver's test. <laughs> I mean, okay, she's trying to make a joke, but it's not something to be proud of regardless. I mean, trying to make a joke at least, you know, you, you shouldn't be part of the punchline unless you're doing it well, otherwise it's just cringy, right? From what I've read based on um, Bob Odenkirk's autobiography and Brian Cranston's autobiography and uh, Adam Kay's autobiography, so comedy isn't isn't when you try to humiliate yourself in such a cringy manner that you almost vindicate yourself okay Saturday Night Live is definitely going to be rocking with this yeah Saturday Night Live would actually love this sort of content it's actually way up there early considering how terrible uh, their content has become recently yeah I got all my vitamin D by like going outside naked and like opening my legs to the sun yeah I got all my vitamin D by like going Okay, holy shit, I thought we bullet her into quitting. Why is she back? People keep calling her the Grim Reaper because she, she kills them with laughter, but she doesn't make them laugh, I guess. Is is that why they call her the Grim Reaper? And why is she once again calling herself a whore here? 
to try to grab some cheap loves. I don't know. Parents were literally like, when we were your age, we were only spending 30% of our income on rent. And I was like, yeah. And I'm also only spending 30% of your income on rent. <laughs> it's not the same, <laughs> Similar but it's, situation. It's, it's a good joke, I guess. I mean, the your makes it funny, the your money, you know, the fact that she's still depending on her parents for money. I suppose that's what's meant to make it funny. And, yeah, there's this comment saying that she is gorgeous, and I agree, she is rather attractive, but I wouldn't want to share her energy. I wouldn't want to spend time with her if she's going to be behaving in this way. It would be embarrassing. Especially this similar situation, the way she speaks, somebody actually said that she's trying to hold off Aeon every time she says a joke, which I think is uh, rather accurate, um, because I don't, even, even her high-pitched voice is quite annoying, to be honest. I don't have any wealthy friends, but I do have some friends with wealthy boyfriends, so that counts for something. Okay, so this is the final video on her channel, and the, the way she even moves her mouth around, it's, it doesn't make it funny. I mean... I don't um, see why there's yeah, a lot of my friends are actually older guys. Yeah, how old you ask? My best friend got asked out via email. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she's yeah. making fun there of the There are girls out now. here getting sent dick pics as attachments. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some of my friends don't even like send me screenshots of their messages with guys anymore. They just BCC me. <laughs> okay, but I mean. Why why are you so fucking enthusiastic about making these jokes? They're not even good jokes. You're delivering them terribly and you're so excited for no reason. You're you think you're so entertaining because people are laughing and I'm not even sure whether you have an audience in front of you. Sometimes it feels as though there isn't an audience in front of you. It's just um some person playing a laugh track in the back, much like with many comedy shows like Big Bang Theory or Friends who unnecessarily play the laugh track all the time, so much so that it becomes distracting even when uh, there is a scene that's meant to be serious rather than funny. I mean, her, her enthusiasm, I mean, I'm not sure whether it's excitement, but at least she admitted it to begin with, unlike Liver King did. And uh, she did say that some people think she's funny, but she's actually just loud. So I have to hand it to her. I mean, she's absolutely right about that fact she's completely spot on correct about the way she said that and we should actually um accept the the facts you know if we don't like that she that she's loud rather than funny then we shouldn't criticize her on trying to do comedy even though she's trying to present it as though it is comedy despite um the way she said it's not meant to be comedy just to make people laugh which is ironic sad and depressing, frankly, for something that's meant to be funny. So those are my thoughts about her videos. Um, if you have any other clips of hers you'd like to share with me, um, feel free to link in the comment section, and I'll check them out, see whether they're good content material, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.